Hey, welcome to another video. I wanted to bring you a quick test of the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. So I pre-ordered this microphone about three months ago. I think it's about 90 bucks. Are those cicadas as loud to you as they are to me in my ears right now? I'm testing this mic. I'm very curious because this mic came out whenever they announced it. I was like, what a great concept. It has a rear capsule and a front capsule, or you can just use it as a front only. So right now I have it in front only. So if I turn to the back, it kind of sounds like every other microphone we're used to hearing when someone is filming from behind. But whenever you're, I'm going to switch it in a second so you can hear both. It does have some flaws though that's going to require some post-processing. I actually spent like two hours working on a video for this, this microphone yesterday and I realized something about you making YouTube videos. I need to slow down and I need to take more time to understand the product before I start because I was I, I didn't fully understand this microphone yet at the time and I was rushing it to get it out because I know Curtis Judd is just waiting in the wings to absolutely destroy us all with a review of this microphone but I wanted to get something out there because I really think this is going to be a big mic for not professionals necessarily maybe if you do a lot of vlogging and stuff and or maybe you're a videographer that films other people but you're also a part of the channel like you you talk and stuff like that so Maybe your voice will also be able to be heard pretty well. I'm just finishing up a photo shoot. Hopefully, you can, maybe you can see some of my gear there. I was using a uh, using the Sony A7 III with my Godox flash, and then uh, this is the Cam Ranger 2, which wirelessly sends the photos to the iPad. I think I might do a review on that at some point because it's really helpful if you're doing uh, professional photography. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but uh, to be able to see what your photo looks like in a bigger screen it really makes a big difference. I really like my setup out here. I could keep it pretty simple with my headshots outdoors. Man, that cicada is pissing me off. But also, I think families, like, imagine having this on your camera. You're shooting your kid playing soccer, but you can also hear mom and dad talking behind the camera instead of it being like a really faint sound like this. So I really think that uh, this could be a popular microphone, especially at the price point. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to compare it to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus because that's kind of like the top level of these vlogging microphones. It does still sound the best. It's been my favorite one because it turns on and off. This one does too, and just like the Video Micro, it doesn't have a battery in it. The, the Video Mic Pro Plus is cool because it does have a battery and you get all the extra features that comes with it like the uh, plus 20, negative 10, and the low cut stuff and all that, which is great but it also comes on and off with your camera, which is fantastic. I think at this price point, since this mic's about 100 bucks and the Video Micro is about 70, 80 bucks, and a lot of people have been using that mic and they're actually pretty impressed with it. I am, I've been impressed with it. It's really nice to just throw on and if it breaks, you just get another one. It's not that expensive. One thing that I'm kind of curious about with this mic, and I might test it if it doesn't get windy here, I'm gonna blow on the mic a little bit. I saw another person doing a review on this, this mic and he was gonna return it because he does a lot of stuff outdoors and this mic did really poorly outside in the wind. Curious about that. The one major flaw that I can see with this, with this microphone that I alluded to earlier is whenever you put it into dual capsule mode, that's what I'm gonna call it, I don't know if that's the official term, it splits the channel. So it, 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 right now I'm in, I'm in dual, I guess stereo or dual mono from the front capsule only. So it's capturing me from there. But if I were to put it into dual capsule mode, which I just did, now you're hearing me in the left channel front front microphone and right channel back microphone. Sounds great, but if you are going to, back in stereo, if you're going to edit this, you can't have one in one ear and one in the other. So you're gonna have to know how to, you're gonna have to split that clip or that audio track make it dual mono and then you have it but that's just going to be a kind of tough in editing I'm, I'm imagining a whole editing workflow of, of, of a video and if someone's talking back and forth like how are you gonna I don't know I guess I guess it's just gonna have to figure out a workflow for that so if you do get this microphone you do need to keep that in mind because it's going to be uh, an extra bit of work on the back end because you don't want to have one channel in one ear and one channel in the other ear. So let's get a standardized test here of this mic in one side of the location. This is a test of the rear microphone of the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. This is a test of the front microphone of the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. This is a test of the front mic while in dual capsule mode of the Deity D4 Duo. quality is the same now it's just split and now here is a test of the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo rear capsule from behind the camera pretty cool 
Hey, and before I continue on with this video, I just wanted to give a little uh, self-promotional plug in here. I'm trying to do something on Twitch right now because Twitch is a huge platform, uh, as you might know, owned by Amazon. It's a lot of gamers and stuff on there. I'm a gamer. I like to, I play a lot of Xbox games. Sorry, PC gamers. Don't let that turn you off from what I'm about to say. But I'm trying to find a community over there of photographers, videographers, and creatives, and we get to hang out in the chat. If you've never been in a, on a Twitch stream before, you just hang out with whoever the video host is to chat and talk about all kinds of stuff, and I interact with the chat. We talk about gear, which I love. It doesn't have to just be photo video, and we play some games. I play games with you, so I would love to see you over there on Twitch, twitch.tv slash isotaco. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually get a free month of subscription, so every month you get to subscribe to someone different. I would love for you to try that out on me. I don't even know if I, I'm... <laughs> I don't even know if, if it's available for me to get subscribed to yet on there, but uh, you can definitely at least follow me over there on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash isotaco. Would love to see you over there. This is a test of the Rode Video Micro from the front. All right, so I thought I would just give this mic a little bit more other than me just saying one sentence. So this is the Rode Video Micro again. One other cool thing, and I, and I haven't mentioned yet about this microphone, and I'll try to demonstrate it, is there is an input and an output on here. So you can actually throw a lab. I don't know who's ever gonna really do this. Uh, maybe if you use the Rode Wireless Go, that could be a good use for it. I don't know how you'd mount it. It has an input and an output. You plug one into your camera and then you, you plug your other, like a lab into the V4 Duo. And now you've got, it's like a pass through. So now you've got another one. So it essentially takes that rear capsule channel and it makes it a, an extra like for your lab or whatever. So that's something to think about. It's a cool option. It might work for you. Again, more post-processing for sure, but it's just another cool feature and you know, it's really innovative that Deity put that on there. And I'm filming this on the Sony a7R 4 with the uh, Sigma 14 to 24, which is one of my favorite lenses that I've purchased in the last year or so. I think it's been about a year. All right, now we're recording from the rear on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It has the wind jammer on there, what a dead cat. and. Um, I just wanted you to hear what it sounds like. This is from the side and now we're in the front. It's my favorite microphone. I'm sure that it sounds the best. I mean, this microphone is what, 300 bucks? It's not 400 bucks. It's up there. I'm sure that there's been a lot of deals on it and it's come down on a lot in price because it has been out for a long time. However, this microphone is a lot bigger and bulkier as you probably know, but it, and it comes, it turns on and off with turning on and off the, the camera, which is my favorite feature. Um, I, I have the Deity VMic D3 Pro, which is another microphone that is very similar to this one, but it doesn't turn on and off. You have to charge it. You do have to charge this mic as well. That, that turning on and off with the camera is kind of big. That way, every time you turn the camera on, you can just start rolling instead of having to remember to also turn on your microphone. Let me uh, get over here in our testing site. This is a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus from the front. This is a test of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus from the front. This is a test of the front microphone of the Deity VMic D4 Duo. This is a test of the front mic while in dual capsule mode of the Deity D4 Duo. Here is a test of the Deity VMic D4 Duo rear capsule from behind the camera. This is a test of the Rode Video Micro from the front. This is a test of the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus from the front. All right, so we're back on the Deity VMic D4 Duo. Again, I think this is a great mic. It sounds good in my ears. We'll see whenever we get back to the computer. I, I'm, I just wanted you to have a comparison because I know that most of these mics that I just showed, it's pretty much the ones that you might be thinking of. And at a hundred bucks, I mean, it's 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 a pretty good deal, even if you even if you hate it, you know, depending on your budget. But I can see this mic being, like I said before, it'll, it'll be great for channels like one of my favorite channels is Sailing La Vagabond. They have been traveling the world, sailing the world for about five years, and uh, it's just one of my favorite channels to watch. It calms me down, makes me feel really at peace because they, especially when they were in the Bahamas and stuff for a long time. But they're a couple with a with a with a son, and they're filming from behind the camera, but. The person in front of the camera usually does the talking, but now whoever's behind the, the, the camera can also be heard just as well as the person in the front. So that's pretty cool. And I think that a lot of you guys are gonna find different uses for this microphone. I think Deity has done a really good job with this mic. Let's do a, a quick wind test though, and let's see how it does. I haven't, it hasn't been too windy out here. So I'm just gonna blow on the mic just to kind of simulate some wind. I'm gonna try hard and then try soft. Okay, so it sounded a lot worse from the side. I'm gonna do it again from the front. It sounds like it's rejecting the wind pretty good from the front, but watch what happens when I go to the side, which I think is picking up some volume. Uh, test one, two, this is from the side of the mic. That actually sounds like it's picking me up pretty well. So this might be a pretty omnidirectional microphone. 
and I have the wind jammers on there as tight as they can go. So this might be an issue. So if you're getting some wind cutting across the side of you, I mean, you might just have to turn the camera to face the wind. See that? So that's front and side. Let's go to the rear. Side here. Rear. Other side. That's the rear. The front is definitely doing the best with the wind jammer. Maybe the wind jammers are what's the problem. I just put the Rode Video Micro wind jammer on the front. So it's a lot bigger and beefier. I Rode does a really great job with their wind jammers in my opinion. I had their WS2 for the pod mic. It, they just make really good ones. So let me blow on this one a little more. I feel like it's covering more of the front half of the capsule. I guess it's more like the front 75% of the capsule. Where the mount sits in there is more towards the back. So let me blow on this one. Is this good content, by the way? Camera conspiracies, if you're seeing this, is this good content? I'm blowing on the side and I feel like it's a lot less. I feel like that's more acceptable wind sound, wind noise. I'm, I'm sure Deity does not like me putting a Rode um, wind jammer on their microphone, but I feel like it's doing a much better job. So I'll do a, I'll do a direct back to back right here of the Rode one and then of the Deity wind jammer that comes with it. It gets so much worse whenever you get to the Deity end of the capsule, the Deity wind jammer end and not the Rode Video Micro end. It's just a bigger, fuzzier, more dense uh, cap or uh, wind jammer. So I, I, I don't know what to say. It's just better. So if I was, if I'm gonna use this microphone outdoors, especially in, in a windy environment, which a lot of us live in, I feel like I'm going to have to use this Deity or this Rode Video Micro jammer. So this is the Deity uh, de Jammer. I'm just keep calling it a Jammer, Dead Cats, whatever. Um, look how small it is on my finger, okay? That's how small it is. And now here's the Rode Video Micro one. I, I think from, from the inside where the capsule rests to the outside, there's just a lot more dense foam and hair on this, so it's just doing a much better job. So I, I don't know if Deity's maybe gonna update this microphone with a better wind jammer, because this one's just not gonna cut it, in my in my opinion. I think your best bet would almost be to go to have two of these on the front and back. I mean, you look super weird on your on your microphone. Hold for cicada. So it might be better to have two of these two of these these video micro ones on there. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. What do you guys think of that? Put that in the comments. Let me know what you think. So I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments that I get on some of my videos that I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that. Um, I don't really care if that happens. I just like making videos that, like you guys are saying, that I looked everywhere for a video like this and you're the only one that made a video explaining this certain niche thing or whatever. I really appreciate that. I hope to maybe do more general, broad cut type of videos to help more people. But if you would consider subscribing, would really appreciate that. Be good to each other, be blessed. Thank you.